Hello friend, today I am going to share with you how to invalidate AWS CloudFront Cache. If we use AWS CloudFront CDN in front of web server, then any content update in server end that instantly not reflected to the website because need to invalidate CDN Cache. Every time developer update content in server, it is not too possible to log in AWS console and invalidate the cache. Best way to automate this thing. So when new content update or old content modify, it automatically detects and trigger invalidation command from server. In this video, I will show you the way to automate this thing. Please watch this video till end. Please like and subscribe my channel. Hit the bell button to get the latest video update. Let's see the command for AWS Cloud Font Cache Invalidation. To execute this command, first we have to install and configure AWS CLI package in the server and required permission to execute Cloud Font Invalidation command using IAM role. Here you can see the AWS CLI documents for Cache Invalidation command. Here you can find create invalidation command their description with parameters now i only need to specify distribution id and path parameters you can get the distribution id from aws console platform service and path should be quotation slash star don't forget to mention inside double quotes unless this command will not work Next step to find out the changes of file using the find command to get last 2 minute any file update. In this command need to mention web root directory and time value in minute. Hyphen m min option search and give us those files data was last modified 5 minutes ago. Let's test the find command. So, I'm going to find www.html folder. So here a one index HTML file present. I am modifying the index HTML file. Next I want to find out with find command. So you can see it is getting the index HTML file and html file modified within 5 minutes next we have to merge both the command find command and aws command here after find command i am grab the find output value with forward slash and double ampersand giving me the features if find command execute success then it execute the next command here you can see it find the value then it execute the echo command if my search command not uh, give any output then it will not trigger the next command also so you can see when i did minimum value minus one it is not triggering the next command it will be my final command and i will get the command execution output in var log folder adding this command to cron tab also we need to configure aws cli into the bash cell and assign the access key and secret access key or specify role to the instance make sure role has sufficient permission to execute aws cloudfront invalidation command thanks for watching i hope i am able to describe the procedure if you find it is helpful then please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much